Breakthroughs in schizophrenia are happening right here in San Antonio. Schizophrenia is one of the top leading, 15 leading causes of disability worldwide. Researchers from UT Health San Antonio are coming up with new ways to treat the illness. Here to talk about those advancements are Dr. Daniel Lodge, an associate of the Department of Pharmacology at UT Health and postdoctoral fellow Dr. Jennifer or soon to be Dr. Jennifer Donegan, right? <laughs> Keep trying to push you through. So um, I don't want to age myself, but the only thing that I can remember about schizophrenia is the movie Civil mm -hmm. and Sally Fields. That, and tell us about it here. So schizophrenia is a really debilitating disorder, and it affects a large number of people, up to 1% of the population. And it's characterized by three different symptom domains. So the things that people typically associate with schizophrenia are things like hallucinations and delusions. Uh, patients also suffer from flat affect, which means they have sort of the same level of emotion all the way through. And then on top of that, there's cognitive problems. And so it really is a debilitating disease. And I say it's a disease because one of the problems with schizophrenia is stigma people don't hear a lot about it and I think you just reinforced that. Mm -hmm. um, it's a disease that affects you know one in a hundred people yet it's something that we typically don't talk about and so we have a symposium coming up on Friday to do exactly that. It's a symposium on schizophrenia research at UT Health San Antonio. It's free, it's open to the general public and the idea is to talk about the current breakthroughs in schizophrenia research. We have clinician scientists, clinicians, we have uh, preclinical scientists, we have a patient coming to provide their perspective on the disease, and someone from NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness, to talk about what it's like living with the disease as well. Mm -hmm. What is the scope of the problem here in San Antonio? So like Dr. Lodge said, it's about one in a hundred people suffer from schizophrenia. It's a big problem because not only um, do patients suffer from delusions, hallucinations, but they also, like you said, have cognitive problems and um, other issues that make it really difficult to function, um, difficult to hold a job, um, to have a steady income. So it actually can be a huge problem. It's one of the leading causes of disability. Mm -hmm. it's old, uh, obviously, you all are doing some kind of research mm -hmm. on it. Uh, any breakthroughs in, in the treatment? So in terms of for the patients, um, we've had sort of two major breakthroughs over the last number of years. The first was a generation of antipsychotic drugs, a, a class of drugs that can actually treat patients. And then we had a, another breakthrough, which was uh, many years after that, which were the second generation drugs. And these are drugs that treat schizophrenia but have less side effects than the first generation drugs. When these drugs work, they work really well. And the problem is, like many conditions, not one drug works for everybody. And so what we're trying to understand is the neurobiology of the illness, what actually has gone wrong. And we think by doing so, we can come up with really new uh, approaches to treat schizophrenia. Some of the work that, that Dr. Donegan's gonna talk about on Friday is really cutting edge preclinical research with new treatments that uh, eventually, we hope, can, uh, can treat the disease. Okay, and so this is free, open to the public. People should come out, patients, uh doctors, anyone who wants information on this. Right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to be tailored to everyone. So clinicians who are interested in treating the disease, um, we've got two people, so we're flying people in from all over America, experts in the field. So okay. we're going to have leading clinicians, leading preclinical researchers, and then the, the researchers at UT Health San Antonio that are doing spectacular work as well. Thank you both for joining us, and good luck at the symposium. More Eyewitness News Sunday morning is coming up.